UFC 158 is this week, and GSP and Nick Diaz finally get to square off. Botter checks in to break down that fight and the rest of this amazing card. Thanks, Kenda. We've got three big welterweight fights for you this weekend in Montreal. Let's take a look, shall we? First up, Nate Marquardt taking on Jake Ellenberger, a very hard puncher, a fantastic wrestler. Nate Marquardt has not been in the UFC in a few years, ever since he left after Dana White gave him the old heave ho out the door after a testosterone replacement therapy scandal. But Marquardt went to strike force, dropped down to welterweight, and now he's back after capturing that title and then losing it to Tarek Sapin in his last fight. Point being here, Marquardt was the best available. This is an intriguing matchup because I still believe Nate Marquardt has the tools to beat anybody in the division. And yes, that does include George St. Pierre. As long as he lives up to his potential. I'm taking Nate Marquardt in the upset over Jake Ellenberger. In the co-main event, we have Johnny Hendricks, who rightfully should be the number one contender, but instead he's here facing the former interim champion, Carlos Condit. Condit's biggest advantage in this fight is his big fight experience. He's been in there with St. Pierre. He's been in there with Diaz. He's held the title. He's been under the spotlight, whereas Hendricks is just now starting to get to that point. I still don't think it's a big enough advantage to outdo Hendricks and his big right hand, his big left hand, and if he needs it, his wrestling game is always available for him even though we don't get to see a lot of it i'm taking johnny hendrix i'm taking him by knockout i'm taking it in the first round and in the main event we have the grudge match we've all been waiting for george st pierre against nick diaz despite george st pierre talking about how he's found his dark place and how nick diaz deserves to be beat down and how he's so disrespectful and this and that the bottom line here is that George St. Pierre is going to take Nick Diaz to the canvas and he's going to lay on him and he's going to win a decision. He said the same things about Josh Tasha. He even said the same things about Jake Shields and Jake Shields wasn't even vocal. George St. Pierre has been promising a finish for years. We've yet to get one because he is a business. Team GSP is a brand and in order to keep that brand going and in order to continue living the lifestyle that he likes to live, he has to win at whatever cost. It just so happens that the easiest way for him to win any fight is is the takedown. George St. Pierre wins this fight by unanimous decision once again. Same thing we're going to continue to see until somebody can stop that takedown.